Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 15, and this is war number 9, and we're going up against an alliance called Leisureland. We fought them before. Now, I want you to notice on this screen something new in the last update, and that is Alliance Prestige. They have 10,800 and was that 81 or 61, but a very nice addition in the uh, last update. So we can tell Alliance Prestige now. You can also tell individual prestige on profile. So you can take a look at anyone's profile and see what their prestige is. All right, so I've scouted out my path. And as you can see, I'm going in here with Omega Red, Gladiator Hulk, and Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. And I still have path one. Now, this fight here started all kinds of wrong. So Gladiator Hulk is undisputed king on this path. And this fight does not take anything away from him. However, something was going on with my controls. I know that sounds like a, an excuse, but I'm talking about times where I was trying to dash and it attacked instead. And that kind of threw me off. I was like, what's going on? So right now, everything is going okay. Okay, I messed up there, that was me. But somewhere in the middle of this fight, it stopped like right there. Instead of attacking, he dashed back. And you know that I'm an aggressive fighter. So I'm like, what is going on? So now I'm afraid to even fight here, all right? So I'm like, okay, well, let's just keep going. Because we know how to fight Modoc. He's annoying, but we fought him before. Uh, on this node, in fact. With Gladiator Hulk. And did much better. So, here we go. Got nipped on it again. And I'm just like, wow. Is this going to be the first time Gladiator Hulk loses on this path? I didn't even want to try to fire my special off. And then all of that, I'm like, oh, come on. So I'm a little off at this point when my controls started responding in ways other than I had told it. That really threw me off. And I was playing really tense and scared because I didn't know, couldn't trust my swipes. But we got him down without dying. That's all I can say. We got him down without dying. An ugly fight, but he's down, we're not, no deaths. All right, now, I could have taken this fight with Omega Red, but they had already uh, taken care of it by the time I checked again. They cleared their path and the uh, mini boss. So we're off to section two. Now you notice in section one, there was no defender on that first node. So I only had to fight one fight. Here I'm gonna have to fight two. Quake is a surprisingly annoying defender at times because you don't want to get into a situation where she's able to charge her heavy. So you don't wanna hold your block a lot. You wanna intercept, and you want to stay aggressive. If you do end up doing something like uh, holding block and she does get those uh, little shock charges on you, on you, then even with one, there is a chance you can get stunned. And so I don't want to get any on me at all. All right, so, so far we're doing good. All right, we're... we're doing some good damage. I did not build up my poise charges. And since I don't have blade, I wasn't doing a lot of hits. Now, look at that. She intercept me real well. And I've got one of those charges on me. So I fired off my special two and was like, I hope that can take her out before that ends. And we finished her off with a kick to the face. So not the best fight, but we got her down and we're in pretty decent shape. Made uh, one mistake. Now, this next fight. I have fought Sentinel many times. 
And uh, Starkey is a great option. His shocks will do double damage to Sentinel. So given how things had gone, because I'm still salty about that first fight, I said, I better heal a little bit. And I'm glad I did. All right, so if you don't know how to fight Sentinel, you don't want to do the same action twice or else he's gonna build up analysis charges, which means that when I'm trying to build up my poise charges, he's also building analysis. And you saw how he caught me there. It happens. I'm not gonna even uh, make any excuses. Like I said, I was fighting angry. Um, so I'm trying to now intercept and do medium light medium, which won't give him analysis charges since I'm alternating my attacks. And now at this point, I need to bait out that special. And now I wanna hit him with that special too. All right, I've got 10 poise charges. And because of the defense tactic siphon, he's hitting really hard, even into my block. Uh, it gives them high block penetration while they have those charges up. But you can see how much damage that special did. So that siphon is a pain, it's really annoying. Now he's got his complete analysis and I can't take hits. So I've got to, um, you know, I've got to evade, I've got to intercept. I took one hit because I knew I was gonna be able to do this. Hail Mary, and we got him down. That was an ugly fight, but once again, I didn't die. He's down and I'm not. All that matters in war. So now I'm really looking forward to fighting that Korg because I have Omega Red, right? No, nope. they cleared it. Now what the guy does, uh, my Alliance mate, he usually will boost up and then clear his path, clear that mini, and the next one all on one boost. All right, so we're down here, final island, and you saw I looked around and I see that Havoc. And I'm like, all right, I'm coming for you. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do anything with that Doom, but I was hoping that I'd be able to at least back up my Alliance mates in case they needed it. All right, so you can see there the defense tactic, but we don't have to worry about it uh, with uh, havoc, I don't believe. All right, let me see. Did I look? I think I, I looked. Yeah. So he doesn't have the villain tag, so we're good. Now, I fought havoc once before already on a mini, and it got right down to the wire. So I'm like, okay, this one should be much better. All right. So you can see I'm doing a lot of damage very quickly, right off the bat. All right. And I fired off a heavy. Lock those in place, and he's just ticking away. Just gotta be aggressive. But then this happened. I forgot that the special one was unblockable. So I ate that. I said, okay, cause I'm not that great at evading that special one, at least not in war. Anywhere else, I can evade it just fine, but not war. All right, so here we go. That one's very easy. All right, and then I'm trying to push him to a special two if I can, but nope. And I evaded the first part, messed up on the next one. All right, but he's going down. Plasma detonate almost took me out, but I got him. Very reminiscent of the first time I fought him on that mini, but that's the last fight that I had in this war. So we'll be back and we'll find out how we did. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. Now, as you can see, we did not get all of our bosses down. That is something that, at a minimum, we are supposed to do. Every war, doesn't matter win, lose, we should always have all of our bosses down, full clears. I'm not sure what happened, I was not there at the very end of the war. So it is what it is. 
I don't see us getting out of gold this season. If we get gold one, that would actually be really good. But we're looking at gold two if we keep behaving like this in Alliance War. But anyway, that is going to do it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, enjoyed me getting wrecked, but still managing to hang on and win the fights without dying. So click like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you haven't subscribed already to me, feel free to give me a subscription. And you all have a blessed day.